lovely people welcome back once again to another exciting episode of stitches with collection and miss stitches today in this video let me share with you how to make the most trending handmade beaded bag before we start do all to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button let's get started materials needed you cut your fish line you make sure it's long enough and we are using 0.60 mm you make sure you have the ends of the fish line and then you pick four beads fix on any side of the fish line be it the right side or the left side fix all four beads and then you cross with the fourth bead using the other side of the fish line make sure you have the ends of the fish line and then you pull it out they have your first ring done then you go on and pick three beads fix one on each fish line fix one on the left fish line fix one on the right fish line and then you cross with the third bead using both fish lines you pull it out and then you have your second ring done you go on and pick three beads fix one bead on each fish line again cross with the third bead using both fish lines you make sure you have the ends and then you pull it out and then you have your third ring done so we are going to continue moving with the same method so we have 13 rings in all so you move with the same method so you get 13 so we have 12 now and with the 13th part on this fish line you fix 3 beads Then you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line. You pull it out. And then you have the fish line turned. Going on on this fish line, you fix three beads again, cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line. You pull it out. And then you have the fish line turned completely. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. Fix two beads on the left fish line. Cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead fix two beads again on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line and then continue weaving on with the same method When you get to the last but one bead with the right fish line, you go through this bead here. Then on this fish line, you fix two beads. Then you cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line. You pull it out. Then on this fish line again, you fix three beads. Cross with the third bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. Then you go through the next bead. Then you fix two beads on the left fish line again. Cross to the second bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. Then you go through the next bead. So we are going to continue weaving with the same method till you get to the last end here. So this is what you should get if you're on the right track. And we are going to continue weaving with the same method till we get 22 chains in all. So the down part should be 22. And I'm going to do that off camera. So this is what you should get after you are done. You should have a beaded mat. I'm going to fold the side. So one, two, three, four, five. You with a new fish line. You count one, two, three, four, five. Then you go through the fifth and sixth bead. As you can see. So your fish line should come out of two beads. Then on this fish line, you fix two beads. You cross with the second bead using the right fish line. You make sure you have the ends of the fish line and then you pull it out. So one side will be longer than the other. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead here. Then you still pick two beads again. Fix on the left fish line. Cross with the second bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. 
you fix two beads again on the left fish line cross the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then you weave on with the same method 12 times so when you get to the last part with the right fish line you go through this two beads here one two then you pick one bead and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through this one bead here and then on this fish line you fix two beads you cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead you still go on and fix two beads on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line you pull it out and then you go through the next bead they are going to weave on with the same method to this end to the second part here and i'm doing that off camera and as you can see we have the base forming up so i'm going to continue to cover up for the three parts left and i'm doing that off camera as well and this is what you should get for the base of the bag so there's one side of it and i made the other side off camera and as you can see we have five on each side and this part is 12 12 so we are going to join it together to form the body of the bag so with a new fish line you go through this first bead here you pull it out then on this fish line you fix one bead and with that same fish line where you fixed the bead you go through the first bead on the other side of the bag as well you pull it out so you have the bead you fixed in the middle of both sides then you pick one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line you make sure you have the ends of the fish line so one side will be longer than the other you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead with the left fish line you go through the next bead then you pick one bead again and cross with both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead with the left fish line you go through the next bead and then you pick one bead again and cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out and make sure it's tight and then you weave on with the same method And as you can see we have the sides joining up nicely so we are going to continue with the same method till we get to this end and this is what you should get after you are done joining the sides of the bag so we have 12 on this side we have 11 on this side we have 12 on this side as well we have 11 on this side so that is what you should get you should have 12 11 12 11 12 11 and we are going to design the top side a little bit so with the new fish line you go through this bead here so you can go through any bead of your choice but i want to go through this bead so with my fish line i go through this first bead and then go through the second bead here as well so you go through two beads as you can see then on this fish line you fix one white bead one black bead one white bead two gold beads one white bead one black bead and one white bead again so this is what you should have and then we are going to cross with this three beads here so with the other side of the fish line you should go through the last three beads as you can see then you pull it out you make sure you have the ends of the fish line you pull it out so that's what you should get then with the right fish line you go through the next two beads here then you fix 
two gold beads, one white bead, one black bead and another white bead again. Then you cross with the three beads. So with the other side of the fish line, you go through the three beads, then you pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next two beads. Then you fix two gold beads again, one white bead, one black bead and another white bead. And then you cross using the other side of the fish line, you cross was the three beads so you always have to make sure you cross with the first three beads that is the method we are using for this round so you should have that in mind and we are going to be on with the same method so this is the method we are going to continue weaving throughout this path So this is how this part should look if on the right track or if you, if you followed the correct method. Now I'm going to continue weaving to this end of camera. So this is how your back should be looking now. But when you get to the last end, you go through the next five beads. One, two, three, four, five go through this five bits here so you have it like this then you fix two gold beads then you cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line and this is what you should have so my fish line is short i'm going to pass it through to secure this part of the work so this is the first design for the top of the bag and as you can see it's looking beautiful I'm going to weave one more time so stop with the new fish line you go through this bead here you can also go through any bead of your choice so you go through this one bead here then on this fish line you fix one black bead one white bead one black bead one white bead one black bead another white bead again so this time you cross with the white bead make sure you have the ends of the fish line and then you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next one bead here then this time you fix one black bead one white bead and another black bead and then you cross with the black bead this time you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead this time you fix one black bead one white bead one black bead and another white again you cross with the white this time you pull it out then you go through the next bead fix another black white and another black again you cross with the black then you pull it out then you go through the next bead so with this method all you should have in mind is that when you cross with the white small bead the first time the next one are going to cross with the black big bead so you cross with the small the first time you cross with the big the next time then you move on with the same method So this is what you should have for the second path of the design. It shouldn't be straight. It should be zigzag as you can see like pleats. So I'm going to move on to the last end and I'm going to do that off camera. And this is what you should have at the end of this design. I'm going to pass my fish line to secure this part of the work as well and i have it all done and nicely made so i have this handle i made it offline so simple i'll drop a video of how to do the handle i'm going to fix it on this side of the bag that is the 11th side of the bag 
so as i said earlier we have 12 here we have 11 12 and 11 so you are going to use the 11 side because when you divide it into two you have one left in the middle and that is where we are going to fix the handle so you divide it into two and then you have one left in the middle then you follow it up here and that's where we are going to fix our handle and then you do same for the other side as well and as you can see we have our handle nicely attached to the bag so the bag is almost complete but not yet so i have this ribbon and we are going to pass it through the holes here so you can tie it to make the bag cute or to close the top of the bag so you pass it through this way in and out in and out in and out and then note that you can use your shoelace or anything that you can use to make this possible and this is how it should look after you are done this is how you should have it and then you pull both sides like this but please don't pull it so tight it should be a little close but not that too close then you tie it into a bow tie form or anyhow you want it to make your bag nice and then you get it like this you have it like this so beautiful and cute then you have your handle set as well so this is all we are doing for this beautiful handmade beaded bag and you can make this bag in any color of your choice feel free to increase the size of the bag if you want it big thank you to all my subscribers and if you've not subscribed please do well to subscribe to join the family please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more and more of my tutorials make sure to comment and share as well stay safe see you in my next video have a nice day and bye